Today we're going to be making banana bread. Now there are different ways of making this. Some people put walnuts, chocolate chips, cinnamon, just about anything that complements the taste of bananas. Now for this recipe, we're just going to be using a plain banana bread recipe. We're going to try to maintain the perfect moisture and the perfect loaf. Now the ingredients are super simple. You're going to need bananas, all-purpose flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, eggs, milk, vanilla extract, soft butter, and some salt. All right, let's get cooking. Now this recipe consists of three separate mixes, so let's start off with the bananas. You want to have three slightly overripe bananas. You want them to have those darkish brown spots. These will ensure your banana mix to soften easily as well as give off that natural caramel-esque flavor. So go ahead and peel them and break them apart in a large bowl. With a large wooden spoon, spatula or whatever flat utensil, start mashing your bananas as much as you can. If you have a potato masher, that would be perfect. So keep on going until you have this consistency. Now in a separate bowl, have about 115 grams of softened unsalted butter and 100 grams of sugar. With a spatula or spoon, start smooshing these two ingredients until you have a nice cream-like paste such as this. Next, put your banana mix into this butter and sugar mix and whisk thoroughly. Add one large egg and whisk. Then add another one once the first one has been fully whisked in. This is to give your banana bread that nice fluffiness and moisture. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of whole milk and whisk. Now in your third separate bowl, have 300 grams of all-purpose flour, add one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. Whisk thoroughly. After, mix the dry ingredients in with the wet until you have this nice thick mixture. Put it into a bread form and shake and bang out any air bubbles that might be inside. Place this into a 160 degree oven for about 50 to 55 minutes. Take out your banana bread and let it rest for at least a couple minutes. I'd say at least 10 minutes to let it cool. Take it out of the bread form and then you're done. There you have it, banana bread. The moisture is absolutely perfect. The crunch on top is perfect. And it's packed full of that delicious banana flavor. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for weekly updates.